Kia ora. This video is looking at how you can use the tables given in the assessment task to work out the redox reaction and the equation uh, for it. So um, let's look at this reaction. We've got chlorine water reacting with sodium bromide. So one of them will be the oxidant, the other one will be the reductant. And you've also got to work out which one of these for sodium bromide, which one is the spectator ion, which one is not. Now notice as we're adding these two solutions together, it's becoming a orangey color. So we started off with a colorless solution, we actually added another colorless solution, and it became this orangey color. So let's look at the tables to see uh, how we can use it to explain that reaction. So we first look at this redox reactants and we notice that all these skeleton equations, as we call them, are all written as reductions. So they're skeleton because we haven't balanced them. We've just given the starting material, the reactant and the product, but we haven't balanced, we haven't added um, any water or electrons or anything like that. So if we have sodium bromide, then Either the sodium or the bromide will be a spectator ion and you can be pretty much 99% certain that it'll always be the group 1 ion. So sodium ions, potassium ions, they will, you can ignore them as the spectator ions. So we are interested in the chlorine as one of the reactants and the bromide as the other. And notice that they are on opposite sides um, of, the, of these equations which is what you would expect because if they're all written as reductions you want one reduction reaction going from left to right and you want one oxidation going from right to left. So if you've got them both on the same side you've made a mistake somewhere. So the next thing you have to do is give both the color and the state of those ions to see if they match your observations. So you've got the bromide. Remember we've ignored the sodium ions as a spectator ion. So we had that colorless solution that we added. So colorless is given here. You have to add the state which is solutions. The other one is the chlorine. Now notice it says here pale green gas. You didn't have a gas so don't say gas. It was either a pale green solution or a colorless solution. Then we look at the products, which is the chloride and the bromine. So the chloride is a colorless ion, and again give the state, so say colorless solution. And the bromine is that orangey yellow or reddish orange. You just say what you saw. This table is simply a guideline because it depends on the concentration um, and the state of the species that it can change. So if you just said orangey yellow solution that would be fine. You didn't really have the the, the, the liquid, it, it was all aqueous. So he, um, here's now another reaction. So we have now sodium hypochlorite and potassium iodide. The sodium is again a spectator ion, so is potassium. Notice we had a colorless solution, added another colorless solution and it went this red brown. So if we have our uh, tables again, we look for our um, hypochlorite and for our iodide. Remember we ignore the sodium ions and the potassium ions. So there's the hypochlorite and there's the iodide. Notice they're on opposite sides. So this is my reduction going from left to right and this is my oxidation. So this will be my reductant in my oxidation half reaction this will be my oxidant in my reduction half reaction. Now I use this table to confirm your products and your observations. So we look for the iodide and the hypochlorite. So the iodide is a colorless solution and that's what we started off with. And the hypochlorite is also a colorless solution. So notice although it's just given colorless, you also have to give the state and that's what you see from the video. Then our products, as we saw before, the chloride ion is uh, colorless and the iodine that we formed, now it's given you two options here, a brown solution or a black solid. Well, you didn't see a black solid, it was like a reddish brown solution, so you would write that. So this is how you can use the tables to work out the oxidation and the reduction. You can work out what your oxidant and your reductant is and you can work out your products and then you can link them to both your color and your uh, state.
but of course you'd have to look at, at the um, reaction as well to work out the state. So all the best for your learning. Goodbye.